Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled, Do God's Word. Do God's Word. I want to read from James 1.25. It says this way, But if you look carefully into the perfect law, that sets you free. And if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. You saw that? If you don't forget what you heard and do it, you will be blessed. You know, a story was told by Dr. Jeremiah, uh, uh, David Jeremiah, of a well-known seminary professor who spent a summer studying in Jerusalem. In his apartment building lived an Orthodox Jewish rabbi with whom he studied Hebrew throughout the summer. One day, the professor sat and listened to his Jewish friend recite the entire book of Psalms in Hebrew without missing as much as a jot or a title. Now, that's pretty impressive, right? But God, listen here, but God doesn't bless you for merely reading His Word or memorizing it or even being able to repeat it word for word in the original language. God promises to bless those who do what His Word says. One more time. God promises to bless those who do what His Word says. Reading the Bible without putting it into practice is like going to a good restaurant and eating the menu, not the meal. Let's hear what James told the church in Asia Minor. In James chapter 1, verses 22 to 25, he says, Don't just listen to God's word. Do what it says. One more time. Don't just listen to God's word. Do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at uh, your face in a mirror. You see yourself walk away and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what the Word of God says, and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it, for putting His Word into action in your life. Amen? So one of the dangers of enjoying great preaching is that you can enjoy it and go home, move, but unchanged in your life. The knowledge of God's Word is vitally important, but a, but a head knowledge of the Scripture can actually water a root of spiritual pride and arrogance in your heart, whereby you applaud the Scriptures but don't apply them. See, the word for today is this. Do God's word. Don't just hear, don't just listen, don't just receive, but put what you hear, listen, read into action, and it will work a thousand miracles in your life when you put them into practice. Amen? That's how you make the best use of God's Word in your life that will bring you transformation, changing you and I to be a better person and setting you and I free for an old former life. Amen? So do God's Word, not just by hearing and listening. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray you'll bless all who listen to your devotion, the Word of God this morning. Help us put your Word into action so that our lives may be changed and impacted. We love you. Bless us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.